what's up guys welcome to in the box collection is your boy francis i wanted to talk to you guys about a brand new uh so i guess some updates that tops put out uh, you guys know what tops is yes the same guys that gave me a whole bunch of uh, damaged cards please go watch the video please support it tag them we need some type of like better better things about it but we're not talking about the damaged cards right now we're talking about the news that they put out so um i have the article right here um you guys it was published uh, february 28th uh what a day ago uh, be today being March 1st and this is your in the box selection like comment subscribe this is my reaction to kind of what's going on with kind of what's going on with to me my opinion what's going on with it so here's the article I can drop the link on the uh, I can drop the link on the, on, the, on the description for it but it overall says right here that tops would not be um, I don't know putting out some of these products right now they're not gonna be putting out tops opening gold gold label clearly authentic fire Tops Fire, Bowman First Edition, Gallery, Archives, Snapshots, and Bowman Chrome X, Bowman Heritage, and those were the last products. You know, this is not going to be putting it out. Um, they're not going to be putting it out anymore for the 2023 season. And they are advertising that they're going to be putting out their their big highlight of it. You can see right here in Pretty Bowl Lines is that. Uh, the whole Brady baseball, Brady has a rookie card out there somewhere, and that's really kind of what they're, what they're, what they're advertising, along with the Bronny James autograph. Bronny James being, of course, uh, the next, you know, LeBron James' kid, um, a lot of hype around him. Um, his, uh, his, his, uh, high school, um, his high school ranking keeps going up, great defender, three-point shooter. But yeah, so Topps is like, okay, we're going to take all this away. We're going to give the people, uh, you know, chase this, this, uh, this Tom Brady rookie card. Never played in MLB. I mean, obviously he played, but he made his legend in football. And Bronny James, who's, you know, possibly an upcoming star, maybe like a little overhyped. I like Bryce better. I think he's going to be like, that's the real, going to be the real one. But, but uh, to be honest, to me, it makes sense. Um, a lot of those products don't really, they don't make much. There's not, they don't draw much attention aside from like the early hype on it. They don't really have any much attention. They don't. They don't create like a long-term value for it, aside from like the usual, you know, the Julios, the Wanders, the whoever was in those rookie classes that were there. To me, uh, Tops is cutting down on cost, production costs of, you know, things that are going to just be sitting on a shelf, and in a way, also getting rid of some of the junk that is already out there that people cannot really get rid of. Uh, I think it clearly is something that. I don't know. There's a lot of risk to it. I wouldn't buy it personally, but actually, that's not true. I would probably, I, I could probably buy it, but it doesn't really appeal to me. Like I can't, if I see it, it's not like Bowman Chrome that I have to get it. It's not like that. And some of those things, they already have like the same images. They already have the same parallels from other better products. So it's more like watered down products. So they're getting rid of some of the watered down stuff. Now, to me, it does beg the question, with tops removing all these products, what is going to replace these products in the market? Uh, what is going to be the new release product with the SPs and the SSPs and the ultra SSPs and whatever the little parallel change they make into it because they have to still make money. And they have to find a way to get the money out of us, the consumers of the, the sports car collectors, the consumers of it. So, um, you mean a perfect example is you know they realize they messed up with the with the Topps Chrome with the SPs on it. They put out the Topps Chrome buyback program, which honestly, you're buying a box for like twenty five to thirty five dollars. You get the buyback for twenty. That's if you pull the base. I have only pulled I have pulled so far two Goldsmith, no judge, nothing like that. So um, I spent quite a bit of money between breaks and different things like that, just overall products. But I if there's a value there. They're, 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 Tops is winning. Tops is giving their money back because more people are buying Tops Chrome, and also Tops Chrome Cosmic. Uh, that's Top Chrome Sonic, which I'm very, very frustrated with. Uh, I bought a box. Two out of the four black rave, rave black ray wave cards were damaged. Same thing happened to John. Extremely disappointing. But uh, we're not talking about that. We're talking about what Tops is doing right now, putting out their the new baseball products, like teeing some things out, putting some things into it. Here's the full article. It doesn't really look like there's, it doesn't really appeal much to me. It's more like, I'm happy that you're getting, I'm happy that you're getting rid of things, but what is going to, what are you going to do next? Like, what is it that you're going to replace this product with something else that may not be great? It might just be watered down, or you might make some quality product. Who knows? I don't know. 
Well, well, this is what I think about it. It's what I think about the news, about what's going on with the new tops going on. Um, this is what Francis, this is in the box collection. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about tops making changes. Let me know what you guys see, want to see. Uh, let me know what type of like, what what do you guys want to see from tops, from Panini, from Lee, from different cards? How can we make the market better so that way we as collectors don't get so frustrated you know, ripping through a whole case and the hit is like some trash guy. Like what, how can we fix a hobby? I guess this is my question for the day. And what do you guys think about tops? This is Super Francis in the box collection. Hope you guys have a great day. Shout out to Bo Gum Leather, Syndicate Sports Cards, and the boys, deuces. Thank you.